Hi friends, Allison here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a new Cricut inspired layout to share with you. It involves florals that I backed off camera. You can see them right there and lots of leaves that were colored or cut from different colored cardstock. I'm using mostly close to my heart products today, especially the cardstocks. I'm using um, peacock, sage, and then I die cut the white overlay, obviously from white cardstock. I'm just going to stick the sage and the peacock together and then the white overlay is going to go over top of that. The white overlay is going to get a lot of glue in the top left hand corner. You'll see it in just a minute. It snagged a little bit when it was cutting, so it kind of bent it and crinkled it just a little bit. Um, but it actually, you would never know to look at it after I got it adhered to the base. Um, it lays flat and looks pretty good. There's also some triangles in the die cut that didn't cut 100% great either, but most of them will end up be, being covered by the florals in the top left as well. So right now I'm just going ahead and double matting the picture that I'm scrapbooking today. It is a picture of my Freddy dog. That's one of his nicknames. <laughs> I'm matting it to white cardstock and then I'm also going to mat it to close to my heart toffee cardstock. And once that's done, I'm gonna start playing around with arrangement and figuring out exactly where I want things. As you know, with my scrapbooking, I do have my layouts designed before I actually assemble them and put them together. Um, but sometimes as things go, they change just a little bit. I have decided to jump on the bandwagon and try out foam for popping up elements in my layouts. I am trying to find ways that are a bit more economical and to pop up elements. And I, while I love the foam squares from Michaels that I get, I'm finding that larger pieces are a bit of a nuisance to put foam, little square foam squares on. So I am trying out the foam and I have to say so far, I'm quite happy with it. I actually found this foam at my local Dollarama. So if you don't go to your local Walmart to pick it up, you will find it at your Dollarama. This stuff does not have the adhesive back, but that's fine. I'm okay with that. It was like $3.50 for a big stack of that foam. And I'm hoping that it lasts for quite a while. And my plan is to kind of mix the foam adhesives up. So I'll still get my Michaels foam squares for the littler things and then use the Dollarama foam <laughs> For the bigger pieces. Okay so I have the flowers all adhered. I have the leaves mostly adhered as well. I'm gonna add three more uh, like clusters around the bottom flower and then I'll be done with those and then I can move on to the title. I cut those from Lagoon cardstock, toffee and sage as well um, just to stay with the color scheme. The flowers were backed with different pattern papers. The one in the bottom right was actually from paper from one of my paper issue scrapbooking kits. And then the one in the top left is actually retired close to my heart pattern paper. They looked dynamite together when I was searching for papers, scrap papers to um, back them with. And I was immediately in love. And they both worked really well with the color scheme as well. And so it was like it was a match made in heaven. I'm just adding the title now. I adhered me and that was cut from Lagoon cardstock as well. And I'm just adding the rest of the title, which is all about. And I cut that from close to my heart charcoal cardstock. That's actually one of my favorite colors. Ever. I'm also using some charcoal ink as well. I'm going to stamp the subtitle um, and the subtitle is going to be and my comfort or and me and my comfort. What is it? I'm confused now. So the title is 
All About Me, and then the subtitle is And My Comfort. So I'm going to stamp that out on just a scrap piece of white cardstock that I had in my stash using that charcoal ink. I'm going to trim it down so it's a tiny little um, strip of paper. There you can see it there. And that's going to be adhered just beneath me in the title. And that little space that was left was the perfect place for adding the subtitle. I did have a little GPS dot that I had tried adhering on the top left hand flower and it actually didn't stick and I'm glad that it didn't because I ended up deciding I wanted to put it with the subtitle. So you don't see me actually glue it to the layout and then take it off. You can see it on my all-purpose mat to the right hand side. Once I have the subtitle adhered, I'm going to take that little GPS dot and put it um, above the subtitle so it overlaps the title. I did try gluing it again to the E in me, um, but it didn't want to stick. <laughs> so I just took a foam square that I had trimmed in half and plunked that on the back of the little GPS dot and placed it where it is right now where you see it. At this point, I thought I was pretty well done. On a whim, I decided to pull out some of my phrase stickers and add a couple of phrase stickers to the bottom left of the photo. So I have Chrissy Ann phrase stickers right now. They're snarky and I really kind of like them. I thought they would work for the whole theme and mood of this layout. So I added two small little phrase stickers down there in the bottom left. I think one says I don't care and then the other one says something about time to relax or something along those lines. I wanted to add some jewels to my layout as well so I pulled out these red enamel dots that I've had in my stash. They are also close to my heart and uh, they are going to go in the centers of the flowers and of course I'm adding the date as well. So I'm using my charcoal ink again to do that and my roller stamp from Walmart. It's a K&Co um, item. It actually went with their smash line that they had a number of years ago. Uh, is that the one or it might be Michael's? I had two anyways and I get them confused. So these red enamel dots actually coordinated perfectly with the colors in that bottom right hand flower. That's why I chose them. Originally I wanted to go with a more like gold or brown tone, but I only had two gold um, like pearl type ones and that wasn't enough to fill the flowers and they were too big. So I went with these red ones instead and they're perfect. I decided to take the little heart that originally came inside the GPS dot in above the subtitle and I added that above the two phrase stickers that I put on the picture and with that empty space down in that bottom left hand corner there underneath the photo, I decided to add some journaling. I hadn't originally planned on doing that either, but that space looked a little too empty and it kind of bothered me. So just a few strips of paper with journaling on it was exactly what that spot needed. I just trimmed them down to a half inch. It's also scrap um, paper that I had in my stash. It's just white daisy cardstock, smooth cardstock and trimmed it down to about five inches and then placed them in that bottom left hand corner there. With that, this layout is pretty well done and I absolutely am digging this layout. I love it. I love the pattern in the background. I love the florals. I love the leaves. The stamping in the subtitle, like I literally love everything. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this layout as much as I did. If you want to see more, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss anything. There are close-ups coming up next, so make sure you stick around for those. I'll be back again soon with a new process video. Thanks, guys. Bye.